Hello everyone, it's Glenda and welcome back to my channel, Creative Grandma. Today's crochet tutorial is sponsored by Premier Yarns. So I want to give a special thank you to Hal, the owner of Premier Yarns, and the Premier team for sending me the yarn to make this holiday blanket. So this is made out of the Premier Shimmer. It's a little late due to my mom being in the hospital, but I finally got it done. Now this tutorial is going to be in two parts. Part one, I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful block. And part two, I'm going to show you how to put your blocks together and then add this border around your afghan. So I'm just going to hold it up. I cannot get the whole entire afghan in the viewfinder. So this is what it looks like. It's four blocks across and then it's five blocks long so it's a really nice size and i'll give you that dimension when i give you the material list for this blanket so let me tell you everything you're going to need to make this blanket today so here's an up close look at the christmas blanket this is the block that you're making in part one and then part two i'm going to show you how to join the box together and put the border on so this afghan measures 44 inches across by 54 and a half inches long now if you want to make the afghan larger then you're going to need to buy more yarn so let me show you what you need to make your blanket today this blanket again was sponsored by Premier Yarns and I'm using the Premier Basic Shimmer. Now this is a four worsted weight yarn. It comes in 216 yards, 198 meters, 4.23 ounces, 120 grams. It's 97% acrylic, 3% metallic polyester. And if you don't want the metallic in this blanket, you can just use the regular Premier Basic. Now the Premier Basics is a larger skein, so you have to compare the yardage to the larger skeins of the Premier Basic and just choose the red, white, green, and yellow for your blanket. Now this yarn has been tested and approved against 350 harmful substances so we know it's safe against the skin. It is machine wash warm, tumble dry low. And when you're making an afghan, you definitely want to be able to throw it in the washer and dryer. So for this project, you're going to need 10 skeins of the color 2094-01 white shimmer. You're also going to need two skeins of the green shimmer, color 2094-03, two skeins of the red shimmer, color 2094-02, and you need one skein of the Premier Basics. This is just the regular Basics in the color lemon, color 1115-05. Now, you only need probably about an ounce or less of the yellow. So if you have some leftover four medium weight yellow yarn, then you can go ahead and use your stash instead of ordering another skein of yarn. You're also going to need a size H8 or five millimeter crochet hook. So again, 10 skeins of the white shimmer, two skeins of the green shimmer, two skeins of the red shimmer, and one skein of the Premier Basics in the color lemon, and also a size H8 or five millimeter crochet hook. So grab your yarn, grab your hook, and let's get this project started. To begin our project, I already have my lemon yellow attached to my hook and I just used a double knot. You can use whichever method you prefer to join your yarn to your hook. I want to remind everyone all my crochet tutorials are filmed using USA crochet terms. We're going to begin and we're going to chain two. One and two. Now we're ready to begin round one of our block. We're going to work a half double crochet into the second chain from hook and chain one and we're going to do that eight times. To make a half double crochet you're going to yarn over, insert into that second chain from hook or the very last chain, yarn over, pull through that chain, you have three loops, yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. You just made a half double crochet. You're going to chain one 
and now we're going to do that seven more times. We're going to half double crochet back into that same chain and the more stitches you do, the larger that chain will get. And then chain one. So that is two of eight. We need to do it six more times. Half double crochet back into that same chain and chain one. That is three of eight. Half double crochet back into that same chain and chain one. That is four of eight. Half double crochet back into that same chain chain one that is five of eight and then if you want to you can just kind of slide your stitches over half double crochet back into that same chain chain one and that is six of eight half double crochet back into that same chain chain one that's seven of eight and then half double crochet back into that same chain and chain one. So before you join, just double check to make sure that you have eight half double crochet and eight chain one spaces all into that same chain. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. You're ending with a chain one space and then we're going to go over to the top of our beginning half double crochet, insert under the top two loops of that stitch and slip stitch through that stitch and through the loop on your hook. Round one is finished. So we are done with our yellow so I'm just going to fasten off. Now when I fasten off I always chain two. I pull my hook up, yarn out, I grab, pinch, pull down, and it creates a secure knot. And then you just want to take a yarn needle and pull this back and weave it in and out through the stitches back a second time. And if it's long enough, go back through even a third time. And then you just want to weave in this end and clip it off. So you can make these blocks in assembly style where if you want to make all 20 center circles first, then you can do that. Go ahead and make all your 20 center circles or you can make them one at a time and just follow the video each time you make a block. It's totally up to you. So round one is finished. So now you want to grab your red shimmer and let's begin round two. So now we're ready to begin round two. I already have my red attached to my hook and you want to go in any chain one space. So I'm going right back up to where I fastened off. Here's my stitch and I'm just going to insert right into the first chain one space and slip stitch through that space and through the loop on my hook. And then I just pull that a little bit tighter and pull that string to the back. We're going to begin and we're going to chain four. One, two, three, and four. Now we're going to begin our first little petal. So we're going to skip this loop on our hook. You're going to skip this first chain and you're going to slip stitch into that next chain. Insert into the chain, yarn over, pull through that chain and pull through the loop on your hook. Now we're going to go to our next chain, insert your hook, and work a single crochet. Then we're going to work a half double crochet into this last chain, and it's kind of right up against your work. You can see it right here. You're going to yarn over, insert into that next chain, yarn over, pull through that chain. You have three loops yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. You just made your first small petal of your flower. Now we're ready to begin the repeat. We're going to skip this next half double crochet and you're going to slip stitch into this next chain one space. You're going to chain four, one, two, three, and four. 
you're going to skip the first chain and you're going to slip stitch into the second chain. Insert your hook, yarn over, pull through that chain and pull through the loop on your hook. Then you're going to single crochet into the next chain and then half double crochet into the next chain. Your second little petal is made. Now we're going to do the repeat again. You're going to skip that next half double crochet and insert into the next chain one space and slip stitch through that stitch and through the loop on your hook. You're going to chain four, one, two, three, and four. You're going to skip the first chain and slip stitch into the second chain. Then you're going to work a single crochet into the next chain. And a half double crochet into the next chain. Your next small petal is made. So I'll show you one more time the repeat. You're going to skip the next half double crochet and slip stitch into the next chain one space. You're going to chain four. You're going to skip the first chain and slip stitch into that second chain. Then you're going to single crochet into the next chain. And half double crochet into the next chain. Your petal is made. So go ahead and continue. You're going to skip that next half double crochet and slip stitch into that next chain one space. You're going to chain four, skip the first chain, slip stitch into the second chain, single crochet into the third chain, and half double crochet into the fourth chain. You're going to repeat that around and I'll meet you at the end of round two. I'm over at the end of round two. You just finished working your petals around. You should have a total of eight petals. And now we're going to join. To join the round, you want to go back into the same chain one space that you joined your yarn. Insert into that space and slip stitch through that space and through the loop on your hook. Round two is finished. Now we're ready to begin round three. And round three, we're going to be working a back post single crochet. So what we're going to do is we're going to be working around the post of these half double crochet stitches of round one. So what we're going to do is we're going to be working from behind the petals and we're bringing our hook from the back to the front and then from the front to the back to work those stitches. So let's begin round three. The first thing we're going to do is a back post single crochet around this next half double crochet two rounds below in round one. You're going to take your hook, bring it from the back, and you want to bring it to the right side of the stitch from back to front, and then from front to back on the other side of the post of that stitch. And then I turn my work over, kind of pinch it a little bit, and then we're going to yarn over, pull back through. You have two loops, yarn over and pull through two loops. You just made a back post single crochet around the post of that half double crochet stitch. So you'll see that little horizontal bar going around the stitch. Then we're going to chain six, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Now we're ready to begin our repeat. You're going to go to the next half double crochet of round one. You're going to insert your hook from back to front, 
front to back around the post of that stitch. Just take your hands, kind of pinch at together, tighten up your, your stitches, yarn over, pull underneath and around. You have two loops, yarn over and pull through two loops. You just made your back post single crochet. When you flip your work over, you're going to see you have that little horizontal strand of yarn going around the post of that stitch. And then you're going to chain six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And that is the end of the repeat. Let me show you one more time how to do the repeat. You're going to look at your work. You're going to go down and find your next half double crochet of round one. You're going to insert your hook from back to front and front to back around that post of that half double crochet stitch. Tighten up your yarn and your work. Yarn over, pull underneath and around. You have two loops. Yarn over and pull through two loops. You just made your back post single crochet. You're going to chain six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And that is the end of the repeat. So go ahead and continue. You're going to find your next half double crochet two rounds below of round one. You're going to work a back post single crochet from the back to the front and front to the back around the post of that stitch. And then you're going to chain six. You're going to repeat that around and I'll meet you at the end of round three. If you need additional help, just click back on the video. I'm over at the end of round three. We were working a back post single crochet around the half double crochet of round one, and then we were chaining six. You needed to do that a total of eight times. And when you look at your work, just count your loops. You should have eight loops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then your eight loop you did not finish because we're over at the end of the round. So once you get over at the end, you have your last chain six space. Now we're going to join and you're going to come back and you want to join in the top of that back post single crochet behind your petals. Right here's your petals of round two. So go down to where you made your first back post single crochet insert under the top two loops and slip stitch through that stitch and through the loop on your hook again just double check your work and make sure you have eight chain six loops underneath those petals so now we're ready to begin round four and round four we're just going to make some more petals but they're going to be a little bit bigger so now we want to slip stitch up to the center of that chain six space. So I'm just going to slip stitch into the next two stitches to get to the center. So now we're going to begin and we're going to chain six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. We're going to skip the first chain and slip stitch into the second chain. Then we're going to work a single crochet into the next chain. A half double crochet into the next chain. Then we're going to work a double crochet into the next chain. And then in the last chain, we're going to do a triple or treble crochet. You're going to yarn over twice, insert into that last chain, yarn over, pull through the chain. You have four loops, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. Your first big petal is made. Now we're ready to begin our repeat. We're going to go to our next chain six loop. You're going to insert right in the top center of that chain six space and slip stitch through that space and through the loop on your hook. And this just secures your petal in place. You're going to chain six, one, two, 
three, four, five, and six. You're going to skip the first chain, slip stitch into the second chain. Single crochet into the next chain. Half double crochet into the next chain. Double crochet into the next chain. And then triple crochet into the next chain. and your larger petal is made. So let me show you one more time. To begin the repeat, you're going to go to your next chain six space, insert right into the top center of that space, and slip stitch through that space and through the loop on your hook. You're going to chain six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. You're going to skip the first chain, and slip stitch into the second chain. Single crochet into the next chain. Half double crochet into the next chain. Double crochet into the next chain. and triple crochet into the last chain. Your large petal is made. So now to continue, you can either click back on the video and just watch the video to complete your petals around. You want to go to your next chain six space, slip stitch right into the center of that space, you're going to chain six. You're going to skip the first chain, slip stitch into the second chain, single crochet into the third chain, half double crochet into the fourth chain, double crochet into the fifth chain, and triple crochet into the sixth chain. You're going to repeat that around until you make all eight petals, and I'll meet you at the end of round four. I'm over at the end of round four. You should have a total of eight big petals around. And then the center petals are going to want to curl up. So this is what it's going to look like. So to join, we want to come over to our first petal. Just follow that first petal down right until you see the top of that chain five where we slip stitch. You just want to slip stitch your round together right at the base of that first petal at the top of the chain five space below. Insert into that slip stitch and slip stitch through that stitch and through the loop on your hook. Round four is finished. Now we're ready to begin round five. Round five, we're going to make our chain spaces behind the petals to do our leaves. So let's begin. For round five, you're going to begin with the chain one. So now we're going to work a back post slip stitch around the center of the triple at the base of the next petal. So you go to your next petal. This is the triple at the base of that stitch right here. It's going crossways. So what we're going to do is you're going to bring your hook from the back to the front and then from the front to the back going underneath that post of that stitch and then you're going to slip stitch. Yarn over, pull around the post of the stitch and pull through the loop on your hook. Then we're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. So we're working behind the petals. So now to do the repeat again, you're going to go to your next petal. You're going to follow it down to the last stitch of the petal, this triple stitch. You're going to bring your hook from the back to the front above the stitch 
and then take your hook from front to back below the stitch. You're going right around the post of that stitch and then you're going to slip stitch. Yarn over, pull around the post of the stitch and through the loop on your hook. Then you're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. And that is the end of the repeat. And again, you can see how your chain five loops are going to be behind your petals. I'll show you one more time. You're going to go to your next petal, take your hook from the back, go all the way down to the last stitch, that triple crochet going across horizontally, bring your hook from back to front above the stitch, and then take your hook from front to back below the stitch, you're under the post of the stitch, and then yarn over, pull back around the post of the stitch and through the loop on your hook. Then you're going to chain five. And that is the end of the repeat. So go ahead and continue. You're going to work a back post slip stitch around the center post of this last triple crochet of the petal and then you're going to chain five. If you need additional help, just click back on the video, repeat that around, and I'll meet you at the end of round five. I'm over at the end of round five. You're going to see that all your petals want to curl up to the center. It's supposed to look that way for now, so don't let that concern you. You should have a total of eight chain five loops around your work behind your petals. So I'm at my last chain five space. And now to join, you want to come over to where you made your first chain five space. And we're going to join with a slip stitch into that first chain. Insert into the first chain of that first chain five space of the round and then slip stitch through that chain and through the loop on your hook. So we are done with our red shimmer, so I'm going to fasten off. Now I do leave a longer length for weaving in my ends. When I fasten off, I chain two, pull my hook up, yarn out, grab, pinch, and pull down. So this is what it looks like so far. I know it looks a little strange, but we're going to fix all that and make it lay flat and look like a beautiful Christmas block. So now we're ready to start our leaves. So you want to grab your green shimmer and let's begin round six. So I have my green shimmer attached to my hook and we're just going to join by going to any chain five space. It doesn't matter which one. Just line up your hook right in the center of that space and then yarn over, pull underneath that chain space and through the loop on your hook. This is how I join my new color. And then I just kind of pull tight on that. We're going to begin and we're going to chain six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So now we're making our leaves. So we're just making the larger petal. We're going to skip the first chain, slip stitch into the second chain, single crochet into the next chain, half double crochet into the next chain, double crochet into the next chain, and then you want to triple crochet into that last chain. We're going to chain one, and that is the end of the repeat. And I'm just gonna get this beginning strand out of the way. So now to begin the repeat, you're going to go to your next chain five space, insert right into the center and slip stitch. Then you're going to chain six, one, two, three, four, five, and six. You're going to skip the first chain, slip stitch into the second chain, single crochet into the next chain, 
half double crochet into the next chain double crochet into the next chain and then triple crochet into that last chain and then chain one your leaf is made so I'll show you one more time again to do the repeat you're going to go to your next chain five space and slip stitch right into the center of that space you're going to chain six You're going to skip the first chain and slip stitch into the second chain. Then you're going to single crochet into the next chain, half double crochet into the next chain, double crochet into the next chain, and then triple crochet into that last chain. And then chain one. And that is the end of the repeat and your leaf petal is made. So go ahead and if you need help, click back on the video. You're going to continue making your petals in the remaining chain five spaces around and I'll meet you at the end of round six. I'm over at the end of round six. This is what your block should look like so far. You should have a total of eight petals and your petal, your last petals ending with a chain one. So now we're ready to join. So you're going to come all the way over to your first petal and you want to join into that first chain right at the base of that beginning chain six. Insert right into the first chain and then slip stitch through that chain and through the loop on your hook. Round six is finished. We are done with our green shimmer. So I'm gonna fasten off. And again, I like to leave a little bit longer length. I chain two. Pull my hook up, yarn out, grab, pinch, and pull down. And then what you want to do is go ahead and take your yarn needle and weave these strands of yarn in and out through your stitches. Go through about four to five stitches, skip one strand of yarn, come back a second time, and if the yarn is long enough, I like to even weave it through a third time to make it nice and secure. So go ahead and weave your ends in, and then we're going to switch to our white shimmer and turn this circle into a square. So grab your white shimmer and let's begin round seven. I have my white shimmer attached to my hook and now we're ready to begin round seven. Round seven, we're going to begin and start shaping our circle into a square. So what you want to do is you want to go to your green petal. It doesn't matter which one. You can go to any one of them. And we're going to insert right into the tip of one of those large green petals. So I'm only grabbing one strand of yarn. We're going to yarn over and slip stitch through the end of that petal and through the loop on our hook. And then just tighten all that up. I like to pull my ends, make sure it's nice and snug. We're going to begin and we're going to chain one and we're going to single crochet back into that one strand of yarn at the tip of that large green petal. Now when you're looking at your flower you want to go down and grab the red petal. So this is round four. You want to grab one of the large red petals but you want to make sure it's the one right in the center of the two large petals. And now we're going to work seven triple crochet into this end strand of yarn at the point of that next red big petal. So yarn over twice, insert right in the edge of the petal, go under one strand right at the very tip and work seven triple crochet. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So when you look at your work, again, you're going to have the single crochet in the very tip of the green petal, and then you're working seven triple crochet in the very tip of the next large red petal. So now we're ready to begin the repeat again. You're going to look at your work and you're going to go to your next large green petal go up to the very tip and you're going under one strand of yarn right at the very tip of that petal, work a single crochet. Then look at your petal and you want to find the large red petal that's right in between the two green petals. So this is our next red petal and then you want to work seven triple crochet into the very tip of that next large red petal. Go under one strand of yarn and work seven triple crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And that is the end of the repeat. So let me show you one more time. You're going to look at your work and you want to go to the next large green petal. You're going to go to the very end of the petal and just insert under the very last strand of yarn right on the tip of the petal, work one single crochet. And then look at your work and you want to find the next large red petal that's right in between the two green ones. And then you're going to work seven triple crochet right at the tip, right at the point under one strand of yarn and work seven triple crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And that is the end of the repeat. So you can see how the pattern is forming. So go ahead and continue. You're going to work one single crochet into the very tip of the next large green petal. And then you're going to find the next large red petal that's right in between the green ones and work seven triple crochet. If you need additional help, just click back on the video. I'll meet you at the end of round seven. I'm over at the end of round seven. This is what your work should look like. So I ended with a shell stitch. So now we're going to join our round and we're going to join in the top of that beginning single crochet. You're going to go under the top two loops and slip stitch through that stitch and through the loop on your hook. Round seven is finished. 
So you'll notice we still have a rounded shape and now we're going to begin and start forming a square shape. So let's begin round eight. To begin round eight, we're going to begin and chain four, one, two, three, and four. This beginning chain four counts as the first triple crochet. We're going to work two triple crochet back into that same beginning single crochet, yarn over twice, insert into that first single crochet where we joined, and work two triple crochet. One, insert back into that same single crochet, and work your second triple crochet. So when you look at your work, you're going to have your beginning chain four, which counts as the first triple, and then two more triple all into that same single crochet. You're going to chain two, and now we're going to work three more triple back into that same single crochet. One, two, and three. So when you look at your work, you're going to have your beginning chain four, two triple, a chain two, and three triple, and this is forming our first corner to turn this into a square. We're going to skip this next triple crochet and double crochet into the next stitch. Then we're going to single crochet in each of the next three stitches. Single crochet into the next stitch, that's one. Single crochet into the next stitch, that's two. And single crochet into the next stitch, and that's three. We're going to double crochet into the next stitch. We're going to skip this next triple crochet or the last triple of the fan and we're going to work two double crochet into the next single crochet stitch. Yarn over, insert into that next single crochet, work two double crochet. One, and two. You're going to skip the first triple crochet of this next fan and you're going to double crochet into the next stitch. Then you're going to single crochet in each of the next three stitches. Single crochet into the next stitch, that's one. Single crochet into the next stitch, that's two. And then single crochet into the next stitch and that's three. You're going to double crochet into the next stitch and then you're going to skip the last stitch of this span and then we're going to start our repeat. So you can see we started with the first corner, we're working across, putting a straight edge on it and turning the circle into a square. So let's go ahead and begin our repeat. We already skipped this last stitch, so you're starting your repeat into this next single crochet stitch. You're going to yarn over twice, insert into that next single crochet, and work three triple crochet. One, two, and three. You're going to chain two and then work three more triple crochet back into that same single crochet. One, two, and three. So when you look at your work, you just formed your next corner, and now we're going to start working across. You're going to skip this first stitch of the fan, 
and you're going to double crochet into the next stitch. Then we're going to single crochet in each of the next three stitches. Single crochet into the next stitch, that's one. Single crochet into the next stitch, that's two. Single crochet into the next stitch, and that's three. Now you're going to double crochet into the next stitch. You're going to skip this next triple crochet or the last triple crochet of the fan and we're going to work two double crochet into this next single crochet stitch. One and two. You're going to skip the next triple crochet or the first stitch of the fan and you're going to double crochet into the next stitch. Then we're going to work one single crochet in each of the next three stitches. Single crochet into the next stitch, that's one. Single crochet into the next stitch, that's two. Single crochet into the next stitch, and that's three. You're going to double crochet into the next stitch. And then you're going to skip the last stitch of this fan. And that is the end of the repeat. So go ahead and if you need help, click back on the video. Start where we do our three triple, chain two, three triple in that next single crochet. And then you're working across the next two fans to form your straight edge. Repeat that around the remaining two sides and I'll meet you at the end of round eight. I'm over at the end of round eight. I just worked around my remaining two sides. And when you get to the end, you're ending your last repeat with a double crochet and you have one stitch remaining. So you're skipping this last stitch of that last fan and we're going to join with a slip stitch in the top of our beginning chain four. Now the first chain is all the way down here. You're going to count up one, two, three, four. Insert into the top of that chain and slip stitch through that stitch and through the loop on your hook. Round eight is finished. Now we're ready to begin round nine. Now if you're a more experienced crocheter, you can go ahead and work ahead. We're going to work one half double crochet in each stitch across to the corner. And when you get to the corner, we're going to work two double crochet, a chain two and two double crochet. Now because we're starting in the middle of one of the sides over here at the edge, we're going to begin and we're going to chain one. Now the beginning chain one does not count as a stitch. We're going to half double crochet into that same joining stitch, half double crochet into the next stitch, half double crochet into the next stitch, and then when you get to your corner, we're going to work two double crochet, a chain two, and two double crochet all into this corner chain two space. You're going to yarn over, insert into the corner chain two space, work two double crochets. One, and two. You're going to chain two. And then I just spin my work around and then I finish my corner and we work two more double crochet back into that corner chain two space. One. And two. And then we're going to start and we're going to work one half double crochet in each stitch across to the next corner chain two space. Half double crochet into the next stitch half double crochet into the next stitch, half double crochet into the next stitch. So go ahead and continue. You're going to work one half double crochet in each stitch across to the corner. When you get to the corner, you're going to work two double crochet, a chain two, and two double crochet. And then you're just going to repeat that around the remaining sides. I'll meet you at the end of round nine. 
I'm over at the end of round nine. We just worked one half double crochet in each stitch around. And for the corners, we worked two double crochet, a chain two, and two double crochet in each of the four corner chain two spaces. So now we're ready to join. So you're going to come over to your first half double crochet, insert under the top two loops of that stitch, and then slip stitch through that stitch and through the loop on your hook. Round nine is finished. Now we're ready to begin round 10. For round 10, we're going to begin and we're going to chain three. One, two, and three. This beginning chain three will count as the first double crochet. We're going to be working cross double crochets around this round. So you want to come over to the right and when you look at your stitches, this is the first stitch. So we're going to come over to the first half double crochet to the right. So yarn over, bring your hook back to the right hand side of your work and go into the half double crochet on the right hand side of that beginning chain three. Yarn over, pull through, you have three loops. Yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over and pull through two loops. Now this first cross stitch is made differently because we had to chain three for the first stitch. So now we're going to begin working our double crochet cross stitches around. So let's begin. You're going to go to the next stitch that's unworked and you're going to skip the next unworked stitch and double crochet into the next stitch. Then you're going to yarn over, bring your hook back to the front of your work and you're going to insert into that previously skipped stitch Yarn over, pull back through, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through two loops. You just made your cross double crochet. You're going to skip the next unworked stitch, double crochet into the next stitch. And then you want to double crochet into that previously skipped stitch to form your cross stitch. So now we're over at our corner. So we're going to work two double crochet into the corner chain two space. One. And two. You're going to chain two. And then work two more double crochet back into that same corner chain two space. One. And two. So then we're going to start our repeat and our repeat is very simple. We're going to be working our cross double crochet stitches across to the next corner and then we work our corner with two double crochet, chain two and two double crochet. So let's begin the repeat. You're going to skip the next unworked stitch and double crochet into the next stitch. Then you're going to double crochet into the previously skipped stitch, forming your cross double crochet. Skip the next unworked stitch, double crochet into the next stitch. And then come back and double crochet into the previously skipped stitch, forming your cross double crochet. So let me show you one more time how to make your cross double crochet. You're going to skip the next unworked stitch, double crochet into the next stitch. And then come back and double crochet into that skip stitch. Your cross double crochet stitch is made. So go ahead and continue. You're going to skip the next unworked stitch double crochet into the next stitch and then come back and double crochet into that previously skipped stitch. You're going to repeat that pattern across to your corner chain two space and then you're going to work two double crochet, a chain two, and two double crochet in each corner chain two space. You're going to repeat that around the remaining sides and I'll meet you at the end of round 10. I'm over at the end of round 10. We just worked our cross double crochets across to the corner 
and when you get to the corner you made two double crochet chain two two double crochet and then you finish by working that cross double crochet stitch across to that first stitch so now we're ready to join so we're going to come up to the top of that beginning chain three now the beginning chain three starts all the way down here you want to count up one two three insert into that top chain and then slip stitch through that stitch and through the loop on your hook round 10 is finished so we have one round to go so now we're ready to begin round 11 so for round 11 we're going to be working one half double crochet in each stitch around and then in the corners we're going to work two half double crochet a chain two and two half double crochet into the corners so let's go ahead and begin we're going to start with the chain one and this beginning chain one does not count as a stitch you're going to half double crochet back into that joining stitch and then work one half double crochet in each stitch across to the corner chain two space and again we're working one half double crochet in each stitch across until you get to the corner chain two space once you get to the corner chain two space we're going to work two half double crochets one and two and then you're going to chain two and then you're going to work two more half double crochet back into that same corner chain two space one and two your corner is made and then we're just going to start up make sure your corner stitches are pulled back make sure you're getting into that first stitch and we're going to work one half double crochet in each stitch across to your next corner chain two space half double crochet into the next stitch half double crochet into the next stitch so go ahead and continue you're going to work one half double crochet in each stitch across until you get to your corner chain two space when you get to your corner chain two space work two half double crochet a chain two and two half double crochet into your corner chain two space repeat that around the remaining sides and I'll meet you at the end of row 11 I'm over at the end of round 11 we just worked one half double crochet in each stitch around and in the corners we worked two half double crochet a chain two and two half double crochet so I'm back over to where I started and now we're ready to join we're going to go over to the top of that beginning half double crochet insert under the top two loops and then slip stitch through that stitch and through the loop on your hook so we are done with our white shimmer so I'm just going to fasten off and I always like to leave that little bit longer length so I can weave it several times in the back I chain two pull my hook up yarn out grab pinch and pull down so go ahead and get a yarn needle we're just going to thread our yarn into the yarn needle eye and then you just want to flip your square on the back and you want to match up the color now this is all white so it doesn't matter I like to go down through several stitches And then what I like to do is I like to skip one strand of yarn and come back through and I just like to weave it under some more stitches and then I even like to go through I'm gonna go through a few more stitches over here because I have a long enough length because I don't like my ends to show if I would have to put this in the washer and dryer I don't want my ends to come out so then I skip one strand of yarn and then I'll come back over through again and then I do like to split a stitch if you split a stitch right down through the yarn 
I'm going right through that strand of yarn and then that also helps hold it in place. And then I'm just going to fasten off that end and then you just do that with all your ends, match them up to the color. So now since the crochet part of our block is done, we have one more task to finish the center of our block. Now these petals, they're laying flat now, but they tend to want to curl up in the center and we don't want our petals to curl. So I have about a 36 inch length of yarn threaded through my yarn needle. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to tack down my petals. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the small petal and you want to line it up. Let me move my hand here a second. You want to take the little petal and you want to line it up right in the center of the two big petals. And then we're going to bring our yarn from the back to the front. And we don't want to go in the tip of the petal. We want to go down just about a quarter of an inch right underneath the tip of that petal. And then back through. And then we're going to weave through the red stitches to the center of the next big green leaf. And then we're going to do it again. We're going to go to the next petal. We're going to line it up between the two big red petals and then tack it down. And we're just going to do that all the way around the center of our flower. So let's begin. Thread about a 36 inch length of the red shimmer onto a yarn needle and then pick any small petal. It doesn't matter which one. Then when you look at it, you're going to see that it's almost in the center of the two of the ones behind it. So just grab any of the small petals and line the first petal up between the two larger petals. You want to take your yarn from the back. So what I like to do is I like to use this large triple crochet right here, right at the base of the big leaf, I bring my hook above that triple stitch and then I line up my little red leaf between the two big ones and then I come from the back to the front and I like to go under the tip. I don't go into the tip, I come down underneath it, hopefully you can see that, about an eighth to a quarter of an inch and then pull through. Now pull on your yarn but you want to leave about a four or five inch length in the back. And then you just wanna skip one strand of yarn and then bring your hook back down through from the top through the bottom underneath that triple crochet and pull. Now your first one, don't pull too hard or you'll pull your end of your yarn back out. So make sure that you don't have any gaps in your yarn, it's nice and tight. And then what you want to do is just take your yarn needle and you want to come up through these stitches and just weave yourself over to the center of that big green leaf. Let me see if I can get up close a little bit more. So again, I'm weaving in and out through these stitches and I'm just coming up to the center of that next green leaf. And then I just pull my yarn and again, make sure that you don't have no gaps in the yarn. Make sure it's nice and snug. And then you're just going to look at your big leaf and come up on top of that triple crochet. And then you're above it on the right side. And then you can just pull your yarn up through if you wish. And then grab your next small petal and line it up between the two big red petals. And again, I don't go in the tip. I go below the tip of that petal, down here. And that gives it a little bit more 3D look. And then pull your yarn needle through. And then you just wanna skip a stitch and then push it back down through. And you're just going to repeat that and tack down all your small petals. So go ahead and continue tacking down your petals and I'll meet you when I get all my petals secure. So I just tacked down all my petals and then when you turn it over, I'm back over where I started. So I just tie a knot. I tie it once and then I do tie double knots. I really like my work to be nice and secure. 
and then I'm just going to take my yarn needle and then you just want to weave in your ends in and out through the stitches and then clip your end off. So let's turn this over. So now since your petals are tacked down, this is what your block looks like. So I have one more step that I do with this project. I usually don't block my projects, but because these stitches right here, these fan stitches that make the circle around the flower stand up a little bit, I just like to steam press. So what I do is I take my block, it's right side up. You never want to put an iron directly on top of your item. So I'm going to flip this over and then you want to take a damp cloth. Never put your iron on your project. So I have a washcloth here. I just wet it and then I wrung it out and then I lay it over top the back side of my square. And then I just like to put my iron down for a couple seconds and I just just for a couple seconds now I don't have an acrylic setting so I'm using cotton and I just want to put that iron there just for a few seconds just around that white portion now you don't have to do the whole block just kind of towards the center and then once you do that take the washcloth off and what happens is it presses this down it dampens it and then you just flip it over and then let it set to dry and it's not real wet so it doesn't take very long but it just helps press these stitches down and gives your block a nice flat look so it's up to you whether you want to do that i'm going to go ahead and press the remaining blocks and that's where i'm going to end part one of the video so now all you need to do is make 19 more blocks you need a total of 20 for this blanket if you want to make it larger then go ahead and make more blocks but you're going to need more yarn so go ahead and get all your blocks made and then i'll be back in a couple days and i'll show you how to join your blocks together and then we'll put the border around our blanket so thank you everybody for stopping by today if you enjoyed this video please make sure you hit the like button make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of the crochet fun here on creative grandma's channel so until next time happy crocheting everyone